In front of you, you will see Villa Borghese, which is located on Pincian Hill outside the northern walls of Rome. Villa Borghese was used and owned by Cardinal Scipione Borghese as a place of leisure. This villa was placed on 200 acres of nature scape, known as Periolo, where Borghese could visit within the city. This villa, with its four courts, five arcade patios, and porches, housed Borghese's extensive art collection, with its exterior including water features, sculptures, and secret gardens. The villa allowed him to relax while still having a role in the contemporary social art scene. Villa Borghese became a place of leisure with its extensive collection of art and a place of tranquility through the exterior features. Borghese was known as the patron of the arts and it was reflected in the creation of his place of leisure. This villa was created for showcasing his gallery of famous paintings by Caravaggio, Titian, and commissioned sculptures by Gian Lorenzo Bernini. The art showcased in his gallery were great when entertaining guests at dinner parties as they could see his legacy as we continue to do so today. Borghese wanted his collection to be the embodiment of his involvement in the art world. It was because of his wealth, status, and competence of art that allowed his collection to come about while he furthered the careers of these famous artists, helping them build their own legacies. The Rape of Persephina was one of these commissioned, beautifully sculpted marble pieces by Bernini that show the struggle and powerful dynamic between Persephina and Pluto, god of the underworld. This Baroque-styled art piece was praised for its attention to detail and connection to mythology. The sculpture, as well as the next one, were renowned pieces of art that Borghese helped finance. The Apollo and Daphne by Bernini, a sculpture also commissioned, depicted Daphne as she tries to escape Phoebus, a story from the popular Ovid's Metamorphosis. This sculpture was especially praised for its attention to detail, for it was known to be one of the only sculptures to depict this tree incorporated transformations. Another famous art piece was the Sacred and Profane Love by Titian, a famous, beautifully rendered oil on canvas that was included in his collection. It was a thought-provoking story of a man's marriage to a young widow, incorporating ties to mythology like Cupid and Venus. Borghese chose this piece and the next for their skill and ability to draw attention. The next famous, beautifully rendered oil on canvas was The Boy with the Basket of Fruit by Caravaggio. This thought-provoking piece of an interpretation of a young boy carrying fruit was a combination of portraiture in still life. It reflected a lot on Borghese and was one of his cherished pieces. There are 557 paintings and 314 sculptures within his extensive collection, showing his competence over art contemporary to his time. His place of leisure was surrounded around his love and adoration for art, and he added exterior features to create tranquility. Through having distinct exterior features, Villa Borghese became a place of tranquility. His plan was not to only house his collection, but also as a place of relaxation through the relationship of nature and art. This idea is expressed through a contemporary description by John Evelyn. I walked to Villa Borghese, a house and ample garden on Mons Pincius, which makes it appear at a distance like a town. Having in the center of it a noble palace, but the entrance of the garden presents us with a very glorious fabric, or rather door case, adorned with divers excellent marble statues. This garden abounded with all sorts of delicious fruit and exotic simples, fountains of sun-dried inventions, groves, and small rivulets. This furthered the idea that although it pursues that of a Roman villa, the architecture and nature aspects were kept two separate parts to make sure the architecture was not the dominating focal point, but rather a harmonious relationship with the nature that surrounds it. This is shown when Borghese created two secret gardens that at the time could be accessed from inside the Borghese gallery. These inclusions were intimate, private gardens with its high walls and housed his collection of exotic fruits and herbs. At the time, Borghese only carried citrus fruits, medicinal plants, and rare bulbs as anemones, fritillaries, daffodils, and hyacinths. This was a place where he could escape within his own villa for its tranquil isolation. Outside of the Borghese Gallery, you will also find water features, dense groves of trees, and sculptures. These added details to the exterior instill tranquility and relaxation. The separation of architecture and nature through the creation of secret gardens, water features, and other nature aspects, the Villa Borghese was able to become a tranquil leisure home where Borghese could still influence the art scene.